Hallelujah, Jesus, we say thank you. Jesus, we worship you for another moment of divine encounter. Jesus, we appreciate you for your mighty power. Jesus, we give you glory. Jesus, we honor you. You are beautiful for situation. You are the joy of many generations. Jesus, we honor you. You are the mighty God. You are the great I am. You are the beautiful God. We look upon you and all we can see is your beauty. You are beautiful, O oh God. You are beautiful, O oh God. We stand in awe of your majesty. We stand in awe of your person. We stand in awe of your power. Jesus, we honor you. Jesus, we give you glory. Jesus, we worship you. Be exalted, O oh God. Be exalted, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, we thank you for the meetings, another night of divine encounter, another night of the revelation of your power, another night of transformation of lives. Jesus, we honor you. Jesus, we worship you. For no man can do these things except the Lord be with him. And indeed, you are the doer of these great things. Jesus, we worship you. Be exalted, O God, forever and ever, in the name of Jesus. Can you appreciate God for how far the Lord has helped you? How far the Lord has been with you? The preserving power of God, you go out, you come back. And the keeper of Israel neither sleeps nor slumber. He's been watching over you. He's been watching over your family. I don't want you to take these things for granted. I don't want you to take these things for granted. The Lord has been watching over you. It's not by your power. It's not by your might. It's by the mercies of God. It's by the mercies of God that you have not been consumed. It is by the mercies of God that you have been preserved. You have come through near-death experiences several times. And the Lord has delivered you. The Lord has delivered you from evil. The Lord has preserved you from evil. I think it's something you need to worship the Lord for. And you say, Jesus, I say thank you. I'm forever grateful to you. Are you here? you born again. You need to appreciate God for the sacrifice of Jesus on the cross of Calvary. For paying the ultimate sacrifice for our redemption for paying the ultimate sacrifice for our salvation it is something to worship the name of the Lord for and to thank him and to say Lord Jesus we say thank you Lord Jesus we say thank you I love that song it says as I stand in awe of you I stand I stand in awe of you Holy God, to whom all praise is due, I stand in awe of you. Can you commit yourself tonight into God's hands as we look at this new series, as we're commencing tonight? The Lord will open a new chapter in your life. There are certain things the Lord has told me already is going to do in tonight's meeting. And I am trusting God by His mercy and by His power that these things will be real in your life. You will have a a divine visitation the law will be breaking yokes like never before the law will be obtaining cases that are already closed if you think that that case is done and dusted it's already closed and nothing can be done there is a revisiting by the power of god's might there is a revisiting where you have been forgotten where they have already rounded up the case and forgotten you the Lord is going to revisit it. The files that have been thrown under are going to be brought up again by the mighty power of God. The things that have been lost are going to be found in the name of Jesus. The Lord will be transforming lives. The Lord will be breaking yokes in the name of Jesus. Father, we say thank you. Jesus, we honor you. Jesus, we give you glory. Jesus, we say thank you for what you're going to do tonight. Jesus, we say thank you. We pray, O oh God, you will open the eyes of our understanding. You will open our hearts to receive your word. Let scales fall off our eyes in the name of Jesus Christ. Let scales fall off our eyes in the name of Jesus. Let scales fall off our eyes in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. We pray. 
in Jesus name we pray the Lord said to me just now that we should do a quick walk and we're going to pray let's look at the book of Luke chapter 24 oh my god Luke chapter 24 I read verse 13 it says and behold two of them that went that same day to a village called Emmaus which was from Jerusalem about three score furlongs and they talked together of all these things which had happened hallelujah he says and it came to pass that while they communed together and reasoned Jesus himself drew near and went with them the Lord makes me to announce to you now by the mighty power of God that you're going to have an unexpected visitation of Jesus <laughs> just as you're going about your normal business begin to watch out you've not been encountering angels before they're going to draw near unto you right now you're going to see that the eyes of your understanding is suddenly enlightened by the power of God. You're going to see that what you could not do before, you're beginning to do them now. You're going to see that that healing that you have been waiting for, there is no drama about it, no nothing sensational. You just find that strength comes into your mortal body and the healing is taking place in the name of jesus the bible says and jesus himself drew near and went with them verse 16 is where i'm going he said but their eyes were holding that they should not know him as the meeting proceeds one of the key things we want to deal with tonight is that the eyes of our understanding will be enlightened to see and to know you will know that this one is your rema word it will not fly past you today by the power of god's mercy that rema word that will break the chains that word that will come and liberate your soul that word will you will not miss it your eyes will not be holding the bible says their eyes were holding that they should not know him and then he communed with them he communed with them but they did not know him what a mistake what a mistake let's jump down to verse 28 it says and they drew nigh unto the village whither they went and he made as though he would have gone further but they constrained him saying abide with us for it is evening it is towards evening and the day is far spent and he went in to tarry with them i told you you're going to have visitors Hala bro, Shadi Akiza. You're going to have visitors. They're coming. They're coming. I see them coming. He says, and it came to pass. As he sat at meat with them, he took bread and blessed it and break it and gave it to them hallelujah as the word of god will be coming forth and the blessing is going forth and the breaking is is going for and the dispensing is going for your eyes will be opened the bible says he blessed it he break it he gave it to them and their eyes were opened and they knew him and they vanished out of their sight can you pray and commit yourself to God's hand tonight that as the word of God will be broken for as the word of God will be broken and be released unto you the highs of your understanding will be opened you will begin to see some of you while the meeting is going on you will be having what is called open visions while the meeting is going on the Lord will be taking you on a spiritual journey 
morning you will see where you have been tied down and you will see the chains breaking off while the meeting is going on addictions will be breaking while the meeting is going on you will see deliverance is taking place while the meeting is going on you will see that the road is taking you to a new realm of consecration while the meeting is going on you will see the Lord is taking you to a new realm of devotion while the meeting is going on the spirit of grace and supplication will be released upon your life while the meeting is going on the issue of blood will dry up while the meeting is going on the chains will fall off your feet and your hand while the meeting is going on the scales will fall off your eyes in the name of Jesus Christ I decree in the name of Jesus let there be open heavens as we consider this meeting this series Ephesians chapter 6 the whole armor of God I pray by the power of God let men and women be clad in the entire armor let men and women be, be be, be clad in the old hammer of God in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lord God. Hallelujah to the Lord God. Jesus, we say thank you. Jesus, we honor you. Jesus, we honor you. Let your word come like fire. Hmm. Let your word come like fire. Let it burn of the dross. Let it burn of the dross. Let it burn of the chaff. Oh, Charles Wesley wrote, he said, burn of the dross of base desire. Kali, brother, suit yakada it is time for dross or base desire to be burnt off let it be burnt off he said let me no longer cry my leanness oh my leanness no 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 it is enough that you have been in that in that Maya of self pity, it is time to come out and put on the old armor of God. Ephesians chapter 6, verse Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10. It says, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Hallelujah. Finally, my brethren. I am not talking to infidels. I am not talking to rascals. I am not talking to unbelievers. I am talking to my brethren. Those who have come to accept the Lord Jesus as their personal Lord and Savior. Those who have come and knelt in allegiance to Calvary and say the way of the cross leads home those who have come and received the substitutionary death of jesus christ that he became seen so that we might become the righteousness of god in christ jesus he says those are the people i am referring to finally my brethren those are the people i am talking to finally my brethren be strong in the lord and in the power of his might can i quickly give you an opportunity today if you have not yet received jesus as your personal lord and savior this is your moment of encounter this is your moment you can see you cannot put on the old armor when you have not yet become a brother when you have not entered into the brotherhood of jesus yes yes if you have not yet become a brother or a sister in this kingdom you cannot put on the old armor it says finally my brethren be strong in the lord and in the power of his might let me tell you something outside the lord there is no strength take it as a given whatever strength you get outside jesus is fake no matter how pumped no matter how high elated you might feel and let me say this no matter the demonstration that comes with whatever power you have received in as much as it is outside jesus is nonsense in as much as it is outside christ it is heading towards failure 
ask the old serpent. He got to a point, he became proud. And with his tail, he could pull down one sword of the angels. And he thought that he will exalt himself to overthrow God. God didn't have to fight with him. He sent an angel. Michael contended with the devil and said, the Lord rebuke you. He said they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our testimony. And the great dragon was cast out. No matter how powerful you may be, if you are here, you've been initiated into secret society. They promised you power. Let me quickly bring to your understanding it is not power for indeed when you face fear you will be afraid for indeed when you face the dragon you will be afraid but when you come under the covering of jesus when you come under christ the ancient of days, the Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. When you come under him, nothing terrifies you. The Bible says in Philippians, in nothing terrified by your adversary. That is the word of the Lord. In nothing terrified by your adversary. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. As my man is, I will read the entire passage and then we will go to what we want to study tonight and pray. And you can almost guess what it is. Finally, be strong in the Lord. I don't care what you've done before. I don't care what you've amassed before, but can I give you my final admonition? Paul the Apostle writing to the church in Ephesus, he said, this is my final admonition to you before I drop my pen. This apostolic pen, before I drop it, finally be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. It says, put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. We're not facing a sleeping devil. We're not facing a weak devil. We're not facing a foolish devil. We are not facing a devil that does not have strategy. No, no that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. It says, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against, against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. It says, wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God. This is the second time he's mentioning it. We're going to look at it in this series. If you look at the first part there, it says, put on the whole armor. The armor is right before you. It's not going to come upon you. You are the one who will take it as the, as the way you put on a garment. So you will put on the armor. If you look at it in verse 13 again, it's still wherefore take unto you. There is an action that you will have to do for that armor to come on. And I dare say to you that this is one that you are doing now in the place of prayer. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day. And having done all to stand, it says, Stand therefore, have it. Oh my God, don't fall, my brother, don't fall, my sister, 
Stand therefore, having your loins guard about with truth. What a mystery. And having on the breastplate of righteousness and your feet sore with the preparation of the gospel of peace. It says, above all, taking the shield of faith, hallelujah, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, and take the element of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. Praying always, whether it's in the midnight travel, or in divine encounter, or in your personal devotion, he said, praying always. There is no vacation from prayer. You see, but I prayed last year, my brother. The Lord said, pray always. You will pray again this year. And by the grace of God, you will pray next year. And you will pray in, in 10 years. You will pray 30, 40, 50, 100 years. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. By the grace of God, this is what we'll be considering in the Divine Encounter series every Saturday by 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. UK time because I know at some point the time will change. Every Saturday, over the next weeks and probably months, this is the place where we will have victory. This is the verse that will give us that dominion. That dominion you have been seeking for, this is where it lies. Finally, my brethren, can I speak to you, brothers and sisters? Can I summarize my epistle? I've been talking, I've said many things about mysteries and revelations and different things. But finally, this is the summary of my message. Be strong in the Lord. That is what we're considering tonight. Finally, be strong in the Lord. Mother in Israel, be strong in the Lord. Father of many nations, be strong in the Lord. Apostle, be strong in the Lord. Pastor, be strong in the Lord. Businessman, be strong in the Lord. Scholar, student, be strong in the Lord. Little boy, little girl, be strong in the Lord. Aged, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. There is no room for weakness in this kingdom. There is no room for lethargy. There is no room to faint. Be strong in the Lord. You are in a spiritual warfare. You are in a spiritual contention against the wiles of the devil. Against, as we, as we have just read, principalities and powers. These powers you are contending with have been around before you were born. Not to talk of when you just became born again. If you just even became born again now, can I tell you to be strong? Yes, be strong in the Lord. Why did he say be strong? Because the forces you are contending with are not weak. Through the passage of time, and through the subduing of many men and many saints, they have amassed power. The old serpent, 
is not giving that name for joke. No. It's because he's been around for a long time. The only person older than the old serpents is the ancient of days. Yes, the old serpent has been there. This same old serpent tempting you, trying you, that wants to overthrow your life, he's been doing it for centuries. In centuries, and he has been victorious in innumerable times. But can we sound the alarm to that old serpent? That victory will not get to you. The victory of the whole serpent over the universe, you are exempted in the name of Jesus Christ. When he's marking the register, those that we've had victory over, he gets to your name, he says, no, we can't mark this one. We have not had victory and we will not have victory. They will not have victory over your life in the name of Jesus. Be strong in the Lord. Don't be strong by going to the gym for bodily exercise, profited little. But godliness with contentment, there is great gain. Don't be strong by the works of the flesh. I see some people that want to be strong. They set themselves on a journey. They say, I'm going for 40 days fasting. You're not going to be strong in your fasting. You're going to be strong in the Lord. You're not going to be strong because you can pray, 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 pray. There's some people that exercise themselves to pray. And they cannot overcome sin because they have reduced that prayer to the works of the flesh. Be strong in the Lord. I show you from the book of Hebrews what it means to be strong. Hebrews chapter 11. We saw the all of faith, of the heroes of faith. These were great men. That have done great things for God. These were mighty men that have done exploits for God. And I'll show you the very key to their power. Once you get this key, grab it and run with it. In the book of Hebrews, chapter 11, verse. 32. You see, what shall I more say? For the time will fail me to tell of Gideon, strong man, and of Barak, strong man, and of Samson, strong man, and of Jephthah, strong man, and of David, strong king, and of Samuel, strong prophet and of the prophets look at them who through faith subdued kingdoms single-handedly they will pull up the gates of a city and take it to the top of the hill through faith they subdued kingdoms they wrought righteousness they obtained promises. They stopped the mouth of the lions and quenched the violence of the fire. They escaped the edge of the sword. Look at where I'm going. Out of weakness were made strong. So when he says be strong in the Lord, 
It's not talking about your physical strength. These people that did great exploit, they were weak men who assessed the strength of God. They were weak enough to draw strength. Man of God, the way you are going, can I tell you, I'm not guaranteed that you will last because you think you have to be strong. No. What you need is to be weak enough. You can subdue the devil by yourself. Come on. It's been here before you were born. You want your name to go fame, uh, um, go viral. You want your fame to spread abroad. And you are doing everything in your power. No, it doesn't work that way. Out of weakness, we're made strong. Out of weakness, we're made strong. Out of weakness, they were made strong. They waxed valiant in fire and turned to flight the armies of the alien. How do I know? When you look at Gideon, Gideon was a weak man and God further weakened his army, reducing his army to 300. Oh my God. God made that man to enter the realm of physical weakness. And God said, yes, is that your weakness that I need? I'm able to utilize your weakness. Out of weakness, they were made strong. Look at the great exploit that Gideon did. Scholar, you want to rise in your career. It's not the way you are going. The way you are going, you will, you will quickly get enemies and they will peg you in a place that you will not be able to go forward again. You need the strength of the Lord. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord. As I prepared for this meeting, the Lord began to make me to understand that there is a dimension where angels will come and strengthen a man. That is the major prayer tonight. Give me just a little bit more time. Let's look at this before we launch into prayers. I saw the angels myself. And the Lord was telling me, he said, they have come to strengthen. These ones are not baby angels. Look at it in Psalm 103. If at all there is anything like a baby angel anyway. Psalm 103 verse 20. He said, bless the Lord. Ye is angels that excel in strength. Oh my God. There is an angel that can be detained by the Prince of Persia 21 days. There is another angel that can come to free the detained angel. Are you seeing something there? There are angels that excel in strength. He said, bless the Lord, ye is angels that excel in strength. Yes, ye is angels that do his commandments, hearkening to the voice of his word. Turn with me to Luke chapter 22. This is a dimension the Lord will be taking us into very, very shortly. Because I tell you, they are here. This strength I'm talking about is not something physical. When a kapusha katelia palate sutayakata, when it comes upon your spirit, you know that something came. 
in Luke chapter 22 verse 43 let me read verse 41 it says and he that's Jesus now was withdrawn from them about a stone cast and kneeled down and prayed it's in the place of prayer you will begin to encounter these beings he says saying father if thou willing remove this cup from me nevertheless not my will but thy will but thine be done when your will is subdued you give these angels the power they they come to you let me jump verse 43 let me go to verse 44 it says and being in an agony in the place of prayer he prayed more exceedingly and this and his sweat was as it were great drops of blood falling down to the ground verse 43 now and there appeared an angel unto him from heaven doing what strengthening him in the place of prayer as jesus in the garden of gethsemane was wrestling the matter of our redemption and he says if this cup the angels are anxious to go into oppression he says the angel appeared unto him strengthening him permit me to read this last verse in ephesians chapter 3 Kali brother also the apero shadia. Someone is about to receive strength tonight. Ephesians chapter 3. I read from verse 13. Wherefore I desire that ye faint not at my tribulations. You cannot faint, my brother. He said, Which is your glory? Verse 14. For this cause I bow my knees unto the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, of whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named, that he would grant unto you you according to the riches of his glory to be strengthened with might by his spirit in the inner man my god that he will grant unto you according to the riches of his glory according to the splendor of his majesty according to the overflow of his power that he will grant unto you to be strengthened with might by his spirit in the inner man it is time for your inner man to receive strength he said finally my brethren be strong in the lord this battle is not for weaklings this spiritual journey is not for weaklings the devil will take you for a prey when you're weak finally my brethren be strong in the Lord finally my brethren receive strength in your inner man finally my brethren be strong in the Lord father let there be the release right now of angels that excel in strength oh my god let there be the release right now of angels that excel in strength powerful angels angels to strengthen this people angels to strengthen my life I need the strength oh God the Bible said Elijah was sleeping and the angel came and touched him he says arise and eat for the journey is too great for you you are about to embark on a spiritual journey my brother you need the strength of the spirit you need the strength from heaven the strength from yesterday will fail you need to step into a new realm of strength you need the strength from 
power of them. I need the strength. I need the strength from on high. I need the strength from on high. I need the strength from on high. I need strength from above. I need strength from above. Strength in the inner man. Strength in my inner man. Strength in my inner man. Strength for the journey. Strength for the journey, O oh God. Strength for the journey, O oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus, let strength be released upon your soul. I decree upon your spirit, receive strength, receive strength, receive strength. All those powers that have tormented you because you were weak, they are about to be shocked right now. They are about to be surprised right now. No more, no more will they ride over your head no more will they terrify you it is time to receive strength let strength come into your inner man let strength come into your spirit are you on the wheelchair the lord is sending strength to your spine receive strength to your bones receive strength to your bones rise up from that wheelchair throw away the crutches it is time for for strength to come receive strength let the angel of God that excel his strength let them appear unto you right now let spiritual portals be opened where you are let your room become the gate of heaven let strength come let strength come in the name of Jesus Christ let strength come in the name of Jesus Christ let strength come upon your spirit. Receive strength upon your spirit. Receive strength in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. For this cause, I bow my knee. For this cause, I bow my knee. Wherever you are, if you can go down on your knees, please do. Libra shako tia parakia kosakata. For this cause, we bow our knee. We bow our knee to the Father of glory. We bow our knee unto the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, of whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named, that he will grant unto you, listening to me now, according to the riches of his glory, to be strengthened with might. Father, strengthen me with might. Oh, if you can pray in the spirit, please do. I'm not finding words to raise this point. It will need to pray now. I need the strength of the spirit. I need to be strengthened with might. I need to be strengthened with might. Let my spirit man receive strength. Let strength come. Let strength come. I'm trading this weakness for strength. I'm trading this weakness for strength. I am trading this weakness for strength. This is the place of transaction. Give God your weakness and let Him give you strength. Give God your weakness. Don't hold on to self pity. Don't hold on to that weakness. Give God your weakness. Let Him give you strength. Let Him give you strength. Let Him give you strength. Receive might. Receive might. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. He said that you might be strengthened with might by the Spirit of God in your inner man. 
let your inner man receive strength let your inner man receive strength you are going to be wrestling against principalities against powers receive strength to overcome temptation receive strength to overcome sin receive strength to overcome the flesh receive strength to overcome satan receive strength in the inner man these are the days where strength is needed these are the days where strength is needed receive strength to have dominion in that office where you are you need strength to exact dominion you need strength to have dominion dominion over the devil dominion over the works of the devil dominion over principalities and powers dominions over pre- spiritual wickedness in high places you need strength you need strength you need strength in the name of jesus christ in jesus name we pray the lord quickly bring something to my mind now hmm. beyond prophecy you need strength i see some people who pride themselves that there is a, a a great prophecy over their head do you know when i was born a prophet said to me it will be the greatest of the greatest hallelujah blessed be the name of the lord for the lovely prophecy that prophecy needs strength You will be the greatest man of God. Glory to God in the highest. That prophecy needs strength. You have gone to see prophets. Prophets only tell you what they see. The angel stood before Gideon. He called him that mighty man of valor. He said, what are you talking about? I'm a weak man here hiding. He said, what I'm seeing is what I'm telling you. It is not enough for prophecy. It will take more than prophecy to subdue the serpent. Now, Jesus Christ did not say that there was a prophecy upon his head. The seed of the woman will bruise the head of the serpent. Ah, that's prophecy. He went to the garden. The Bible says, and he was in agony. And out of his body were coming out sweat like great drops of blood. Wake up from dreamland, thinking that by prophecy, everything will be solved. They told you that by prophecy, you will marry before the end of this year. Oh my God. If you don't acquire strength, the year will come and go and nothing will happen. They said by prophecy, you will be a millionaire. You need strength to bring that prophecy to reality. You need strength. Jesus Christ was there. The three hours he was there praying one prayer point. One prayer point. Father, if this cup can just go, he said, no, not my way. The other people were sleeping and they find what happened to them. They all ran away and one even denied that he ever knew Jesus. The great destiny that God has proposed for you, it will remain a mirage unless you acquire strength to bat it. The Bible says the children are come to the place of birth and there is no strength to bring forth. To bring forth that great destiny, my brother, wake up. You need strength. So when the Apostle Paul was summarizing his epistle, he said, finally, I don't care the prophecy that is upon you, the Ephesian church. What I care about is that you have to be strong in the Lord. I see someone weakness flying off right now. 
the Lord is opening your understanding. You are coming to a consciousness that the reason that vision has not come to pass is because you have been weak. The reason that prophecy has been prolonged is because you are weak. It's time for strength to come. It's time for strength to enter your inner man. I command, let there be the release of strength. Ah, they have been tormenting you in the night. Not again, not anymore. Not anymore, my brother. Things are changing right now. He said, finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Be strong, be strong. Let strength come into your soul. Let strength come into your spirit. Let strength come into your body. Let strength come into your spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every sickness in your body that has caused the physical weakness and the frailty of this mortal body. Oh my God. I decree in the name of Jesus. Let the spirit of strength enter that body. And let sickness depart right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let strength come into your soul. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord. Ah, you need to wrestle against territorial forces. You need to wrestle to bring down the kingdom of God among men. He says the kingdom of God is among men. Oh, it, it requires strength to carry out that operation. You need the strength of God. You need the strength of God. You need the strength of God. In Jesus' name we pray. Let me give you a glimpse of what God wants to do through these meetings. The Lord is gradually taking us to that point by the help of the Spirit, by the leadership of the Holy Ghost, that we will begin to pray over the, the nations of the world. We're getting there. But weak men cannot speak over nations. Have you ever wondered why this generation cannot influence the nation? No. We have not yet assessed strength. There is a dimension of strength gotten in the place of prayer. Where you are there, you're knocking the gates of heaven nonstop. And God says, who is this fellow again? He says, the same one. He said, we thought we answered him yesterday. He says, come back for more. He said, we will not settle and give him no rest until he make Jerusalem a praise. If you want to take on principalities, if you want to take on powers, you need the strength from God. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord. I decree over your life tonight, by the power of God, by the spirit of might, yeah, one of the seven spirits of God. In Isaiah chapter 11, the spirit of might. Let that spirit rest upon you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let strength be infused into your body. Let strength come into your soul. Let strength come into your spirit. Let strength come into your visions. Let strength come into your revelations. Let strength come into your ambitions. Let strength come into your expectations. Let strength come into the works of your hand. Let strength come into that business. Let strength come into that career. Let strength come into that family. You're pregnant. Congratulations. You're pregnant. Congratulations. What I release strength upon you. 
The Bible says, notwithstanding, she shall be saved in childbirth. The angels of the labor world assign them unto you again. Receive strength all through that pregnancy. I rebuke every demonic discharge. I rebuke every sickness, miscarriage, stillbirth. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus Christ. You will carry that baby to time and you will deliver safe and sound. You will be healthy. The baby will be healthy. No sickness, no abnormal child, no stillbirth, no death of the mother, no death of the baby. In the name of Jesus. I don't know who you are. If you're hearing me, and you are pregnant. This is your word of deliverance. I send it to you like a blanket. It will cover you and shield you from every form of evil in the name of Jesus Christ. Man of God, receive strength. You will not die in ministry. The pressure that is upon you right now. It wants to drive you mad. It wants to make you go crazy. No, no, no. I lift that pressure in the name of Jesus Christ. I lift that pressure. The Lord says my body is light and my yoke is easy. Every heavy burden, the yoke of iron that is upon your neck, I command it to be broken right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Scholar, that your application will be successful. I release strength to your application. Let it be distinguished for success. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will get married. You will not die single. The powers holding you back, the powers covering you up, they are broken and they are destroyed. In the name of Jesus Christ, let your destiny receive strength. Let your face begin to appear where it should appear. Let every cobweb that has come upon your head, let them be burnt off by fire. Let the hand of God deliver you. Let the strong man standing before you that has cast a shadow upon you. What's this nonsense? I command the light of God to break forth upon you. And let this strong, strange being be bound and cast out in the name of Jesus. The shadow of darkness that has covered you and made you to be unseen, unknown, unsought. Uh -uh. Let that shadow be rolled away by reason of the light from heaven. For darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness the people but the lord will arise upon you and his glory shall be seen upon you from today go in this thy mind we declare this series open in the name of the father we declare it open in the name of the son and we declare it open by the power of the holy ghost the whole hammer of God. Let there be the dispensing of spiritual encounters. Angels begin to move, giving men encounters. Let them be clad with the armor of God. In place of weakness, let strength come. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lord God. Jesus, we say thank you. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Thank you so much, every one of you who have come. This is the beginning 
of this new prayer series, Ephesians chapter 6. If you can wait upon the Lord, that will be great. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord. We will be having this series every Saturday only by 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. We also have our midnight travel going on every Monday night to Friday night. Every night during the week, 12 a.m. to 1 a.m. Where, yeah, all of the meetings are uploaded on the YouTube channel. The link will be posted in the chat. Please click on the link. Go to the videos. Watch the videos. Pray. It's all prayer. That's what we do here. We pray. It's called the Believer's Prayer Meeting. We pray. Be sure to subscribe and share with your friends and families. Your life is going to be changed. There is no meeting tomorrow night. Our next meeting will be Monday night as we continue with the Ezekiel chapter 47 series. Hallelujah to the Lord God. I love you all. I decree upon your week. It will be a blessed week. It will be a prosperous week. The favor of the Lord is coming upon you. I don't know what they have done upon your head. Someone has done something wrong upon your brain. I'm seeing your brain. There was a transaction that was done upon your brain. I command in the name of Jesus Christ, let it be reversed. Let it be reversed in the name of Jesus Christ. Let it be reversed in the name of Jesus Christ. Let those evil hands that have been placed upon your head, let them wither forever in the name of Jesus. I cut off those evil hands. I pour upon your head the blood of Jesus. You spirit of insanity, you spirit of madness, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus and I command total liberty in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lord God. We'll continue next week by the message of God. God be with you. Amen.